This is how to build an emergency fund with a guy who works in finance. 56% of Americans cannot afford a $1,000 emergency. If a $1,000 emergency will cripple you financially, something needs to change. And that's why you follow me because you know I'll show you how to do it. For this example, we're going to use the 50-30-20 rule, which states that 50% of your income will go towards needs, 30% will go towards wants, and 20% will go towards savings and investing. The best way to make this happen is to automate your saving and investing. This is called paying yourself first. To do this, set up an automatic transfer every time you get paid from your paycheck to a savings account. Some jobs will allow you to do this directly from your paycheck. If not, no big deal. Just set the transfer up from wherever you get your check deposited. Your first goal is to build your savings account up to $1,000 so that you're not part of the 56% that we talked about earlier. Next, you're going to build up your emergency fund to whatever amount will cover your expenses for at least a month. From there, you'll build up to three to six months depending on what you're comfortable with. Your emergency fund will act as a shield to protect you from, well, a financial emergency like a broken down car or losing your job. Once you have your emergency fund built up, you'll start working on your investment portfolio. We'll save that for a little bit later. Follow for more.